So we've just completed a really interesting project working with a large telecommunications company and a Philadelphia transit company to utilize the LoRa network and be able to track their assets, their transit buses and trolleys. So over this experience, we've learned a lot of lessons that we believe can help us um, and that have made us some of the experts in this space as we've gone through the project. Um, we've learned that throughout there's multiple different facets of this project where one little thing at the beginning of the chain could impact the final end product. So for example, the sensors and the gateways at one point were down and weren't being used. Um, and it didn't manifest itself up until the app perspective. So we had to go back and track and work with our different clients and customers to figure out what happened, how that was, how, what happened, how that had issues, and then go back and try to resolve those problems. Um, and in doing so, we were able to use those lessons to really make a product that is much more reliable in its efficiency, in its ability to accurately track the vehicles as they're moving throughout the city, and to give our customers the visibility that they need into their buses and, and transit. The, the use case, because there was so much data with this use case, uh, we learned how to handle that. We, updated our systems, we updated our apps to be able to handle that kind of volume, the kind of real-time information that was needed by the customers in order for them to see when the next bus was arriving. At one point, as we were looking at the data and really collecting that real-world data as the buses were going through the city, um, we were able to really see what that impact was, how quickly we needed to read the servers, um, we were able to observe some of the issues with the sensors and their um, fine tooth precision and tune our system to um, better utilize that data in order to give the end user a really good estimate of where they would be, at, where the buses would be at any given time so that they can show up to the buses. Um, we were also able to really impact our end client because before our project they weren't able to track their assets throughout the city. They kind of used a walkie-talkie and would radio into their different buses throughout the project um, in order to find out where they were, how fully loaded they were, um, and all of those different metrics that as a manager of a large fleet of buses you would want to know this information. So what we found is that as soon as we gave them the tools to see their information, they were hooked. They were addicted. They, anytime it was down, I'd get a call right away, and they were able to really see the value internally as a management team on how this would really be useful to understand where their buses were, how to deploy them through the city, how to use them when they were down, etc. So it was a really eye-opening experience for us and an eye-opening experience for the clients to really see what that data was doing, to see all of their buses, and to use it on a day-to-day -day basis. And this was a firm that really couldn't use it via Wi-Fi because it was too expensive. 